How's it going everyone? It's AFC Finners back on Ground to Ground. We're here in Stonehouse, Gloucestershire, see Stonehouse Town against Studley FC. Never been to this stadium before, I'm quite intrigued to see what it will offer. But before we go inside Old Ends Lane, let's find out a bit about today's host, Stonehouse Town. Stonehouse Town were founded in 1898 and spent a number of decades playing in the Gloucestershire Leagues before entering the Western League in the early 1950s. During the 50s and 60s, they experienced their golden years, regularly getting attendances of over a thousand. They were a founding member of the Gloucestershire County League in 1968 and became the first ever champions of the division the next season. However, after finishing bottom a number of times, they ended up back in the Gloucestershire Northern Senior League. In 2015, they won a cup double of the Senior Amateur County Cup and the Stroud Charity Cup. They currently play in the Division 1 West of the Hellenic League. Overall, they have won one Western League, one Gloucestershire County League, three Gloucestershire Northern Senior Leagues and three Gloucestershire Senior Amateur Cups. And a bit of trivia, their current ground, Old Ends Lane, was opened in 1949 by legendary Wolves and England centre-back, Billy Wright. So those are our hosts, Stonehouse Town. Let's have a look inside their home, Old Ends Lane. There we are, I quite like it. £5 entry and for two quid I got that there, a Stonehouse pin badge to add to my collection. Yeah, this is quite a cool stadium, quite intrigued to see a match day experience. Never seen either side play before, obviously be cheering on Stonehouse because they're the home side. It's quite similar to Tough Leafs and a match under the floodlights is always special. So my friend the Gloucester Groundhopper is with me for the game. He's just told me that this stand here, until a couple of years ago, is a milking shed. The ground would stop there and here was a farm. I must say, they've managed your resources very well. There's something unique about every non-league ground. Here we go, we got the thing that'll keep me warm for weeks, a non-league hot chocolate, only a quid. So to get in, buy a badge and get a drink, that's eight quid overall. The Old Trafford, that'll probably get me a tap water. So, <laughs> very nice. Yeah. And let's just hope this doesn't kill me of heat exhaustion. Also, at this level, there's no looking through the Sky Sports app to get the teams. We've got a big whiteboard here with them all on. Here we go, here come the teams. So about 20 odd minutes in and Studley have taken the lead. The corner was swung in, the keeper got a touch on it, but it's trickled into the net and they've taken the lead. It's been pretty balanced so far. It's the first really significant chance, I think. But yeah, 1-0 to Studley. We're not seeing a goal of straw, thank goodness. So at half time, it's remained 1-0 to Studley. Stonehouse have been very poor since they conceded. Studley have had a few good chances and it's only just not gone in. I really hope Stonehouse can improve in the second half because as it goes, they're definitely not getting a goal if anyone's going to score at Studley. Let's hope for a different second half. See you then. <laughs> Just short of the hour mark and Studley have doubled their lead. Their right winger cut in and Iron Robin style blasts it into the top corner. Lovely goal and it's thoroughly deserved. I don't think Stone has to go get anything out of this match, even a goal. This is why Studley top the league, 2-0. Full time, it has finished 2 0 to Studley, a routine win for them, a fair result. Stonehouse didn't really produce anything, never really looks like winning, and I think if Studley keep grinding out games like that, they'll get to the league title. But yeah, not the best game, but still glad to come here. Right, so that was Old Ends Lane, home of Stonehouse FC. Like I said, it wasn't like the best evening of football, but I can still enjoy myself. And I must say, credit where it's due, really good value for money. And yeah, it's, it's a nice ground to be fair. It's, again, it's nice to have like places like this you can go to on your doorstep and watch football for a really good price. But yeah, I spent a total of £9, five quid on the match ticket, two quid on a badge, and then two quid on drinks. That's less than a tenner for an evening of football. You can't really argue with that. That was great. Stonehouse FC in Stroud, Gloucestershire. Come here if you can. Very reasonably priced, and hopefully you'll enjoy yourself. Best of luck to both Stonehouse and Studley for the rest of the season. Looks like Studley will win the league. So thank you for watching. I've been AFC Finners. Stick with us as we go ground to ground. AFC Finners out. <laughs>